Okay, so let's talk about getting uh, let's talk about getting this rotor off. Another day, another cotter pin. Let's start with that. Ah, pretty easy. Uh, this shouldn't be really tight. I just take an adjustable. That so slide on. Might as well take a look here at this bearing. Looks okay. Um, it's been replaced over the last 48 years, once or twice. I remember doing it when I was a kid. So um, anyway, we'll do that again. And that oh, it's heavy. And we'll take that off. And uh, ready to move on to the next step of our disassembly. All right, so in getting the, uh, the shock out so we can put the spring compressor in, uh, working at the top mount of the shock right here. Um, and as you can see, there's a nut here. We can put 11 sixteenths on that. That's not a problem, but uh, the problem is, is that, see, if, you, if I do this right, you'll see the, the top is churning. So we got to get an adjustable on this little top of the shock here. Hold it in place. And then it's pretty easy then to get the uh, get the nut off. It's a little little tight in there, so you got to do little quarter turns, but uh, it comes off pretty easily. Obviously, I've soaked everything in PB blast uh, the night before. Okay, so we're looking under the uh, looking under the car at where the shocks are mounted. Uh, I've already loosened two of the bolts, so you don't have to hear me grunting and grunting through this. Um, shocks basically have three bolts, one on top, which we already did, uh, and then two below. And uh, they're usually pretty easy to get out, at least mine have. There's one, that one kind of dropped out, and there's the other one. So, that's loose, should be able to just pull it out, like that, and there it is, old Bill Steen shock from the, uh, from the 80s, uh, ready to be replaced. Now what we're going to do next is back up through here we're going to put a spring compressor and i'm going to talk a little bit about how to use that um, we're going to put a spring compressor to take the tension off the spring that's in here for safety okay so to get this spindle off here a um, couple of things you're going to need a uh, three quarter inch deep well and a uh, 15 16 uh, deep well and a three quarter inch wrench but up here uh, on this uh, 15 16 bolt there's actually two tabs and I've already bent them back but there's one there and there's one there and uh, on these rusted jobs uh, they tend to rust right into the bolt and will fool you into thinking that this is a one inch head and not a 15 16th and if you do that you will strip the head right off of here so this is a 15 16th you got to pull these tabs way back and uh, and also, I would highly recommend a, a breaker bar. And this thing is that long. I got it on Harbor Freight for about ten bucks, and uh, I've already I've already loosened this mama because it was it was bad news tight. Um, so I'm going to do these two down here next. Uh, get the wrench on the back side. So on the back side, which you can't see. Um, there are uh, two uh, pretty respectable nuts up back there. So, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Looks like it's going to be okay. And they're loosening up. So, I'm going to break away here while we uh, loosen the rest of these. We're pretty close now. A lot of grunting and groaning, but. Uh, so we've got that off. Okay, so one more bolt here. So three bolts we talked about before. We're going to take off this uh, shield, right? Shield's off. See the spindle? And then here's uh, this bracket that uh, uh, was there and then also there. So that's off. And then in the back here we have 
uh, an additional bracket back here. So now we've got a little more room that we can get to this uh, spring here in the back. Okay, just to review uh, this, this assembly, um, we have our spindle, uh, our shield over here, a couple of brackets that came off, and uh, as well as the, the three bolts that were removed from the spindle, uh, as well as the nuts. And uh, that's pretty much it on this one. I couldn't find a lot of information uh, in the in the assembly manual um, or the uh, repair manual. Best I could find was H175 in the assembly manual. It gave a little information about this, but to be honest, it's pretty self-explanatory. I would just uh, you know take a lot of pictures uh, as you go, and as always, don't forget to bag uh, bag your nuts and bolts. So. Uh, that's it for this. We've got the spindle off. Now we're going to move to getting those control arms off. Thanks.